Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a variable of one data type to another and how to check whether a character is a digit or not. We will also improve our tic-tac-toe game from the previous video. Let's start by converting an integer to double and a double to integer. First include the standard.conv library. To convert a variable of one data type to another, use two exclamation mark the data type you would like to convert to and put your variable inside the parentheses. You can also do it the other way around. Your variable dot to exclamation mark and the data type you would like to convert to. Compile and run. Integer was 42 and double is 42 now as well. Now let's take a look at what will happen with 35.8 if we convert it to integer. Compile and run. And we get 35. Keep in mind that when converting double or float to integer, you lose precision. It does not round up the number. Now let's try to convert a character to an integer. Compile and run. We don't get 5, so what's the problem? In your computer, every character corresponds to a certain number in the ASCII table. ASCII table is a standard set of characters understood by all computers. So character A is 65. B is 66, and so character 5 is 53. To convert our character to an integer of value 5, we need to subtract character 0. Compile and run to see the results. Let's continue. Take a look at this function I have here. It takes a character as an argument. Inside the function, it checks if the argument is a number. If so, the function prints that the argument is a number. Otherwise, it outputs an error. isDigit is a function provided by standard.ascii library. The library lets us work with Unicode characters. Let's test the program. Compile and run. Alright, now it's time to improve our tic-tac-toe game from the previous video. The main weakness of the game lies in reading user input. Our program expects integers. But what happens if we make a mistake and give it a letter instead of a number accidentally? Let's see. Compile and run. And the game has crashed. To avoid these kinds of crashes, it is better to use a character data type. We can check if the input received is numeric. And if so, we proceed further. Otherwise, we output an error and ask the player to try again. I recommend to pause the video and try to do it yourself. Alright, let's do it! Now let's test it out. I will give it a letter and it works. There are many other ways you can improve the game. Check out what will happen if the input is bigger than your board size. Try to solve the problem. That's it for today. In the next videos we will take on Battleship game. I will give you a few hints on how to create the game and then I will show you my implementation. Battleship is our last console game. Once we're done with it, we will install Raylib graphics library and start making 2D games. Have a nice day!